Look at the difference. Bright Organics, and that's the L'Oreal. Look how it's frazzled my hair. Lime Crime Unicorn Hair in the shade Bunny. Luna Tides in Petal Pink. Dare number 10 in Sugar Storm. Bright in Pastel Pink. Herman's Amazing Poly Pink. L'Oreal's Colorista Washout in oh Pink. God. Arctic Fox in Frosé. Tintation in Pink Ooh, Petal. Mama. I also got it in Rose Gold. Manic Panic. Cream Toad. Swartzkopf Live <laughs> Pastels Cotton Candy Pink. Revolution in Pink. Chroma Silk Vivid Pastels. Pretty in Pink. Crazy Color in Candy Floss. Dare in Flamingo Feather, La Fiche <laughs> Directions in Pastel Pink. And then we do have one bonus one, which is a Swartzkopf Live. This is in a lilac. This is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. This is such a cool video. You look sick. Sickeningly cool. I wish I'd just done that to my whole head. Luscious. <laughs> okay. Do it again, because you might need to put that in slow motion or something. Okay, guys, I'm all done. I think what I'll do, I'll just go over these one by one and give you like an individual review of each colour. So colour number one is Lime Crime. This one is quite a nice colour. It looks very similar to the colour that I originally had. It's very even. It looks like it's very evenly coated across the hair. Tiasha said this was the easiest one to apply. It is a little bit expensive. It's $25 for that tub. Tiasha had to use a fair bit just to coat this one strand of hair. So I think two tubs or even three tubs would do my whole head. And then you're getting up to, you know, $60, $70. It is still cheaper than a hair salon, but also this may only last one wash. That is what I've heard from people. People have said that the Lime Crime only lasts one wash. So could be okay for, a, you know, a temporary solution. But if this doesn't last, then despite being nice at the beginning, might not be worth it. Number two, Luna Tides Petal Pink. This is a little bit more patchy. Could possibly be something to do with the application. It could have just been a slightly bigger strand. Maybe it hasn't gone on so well, but something I'm noticing, the ends of my hair don't look so great. Look at that. Can you see the ends there? Compared to the Lime Crime one, look at the ends of the Lime. Look at that. Wow. I blow dried all my hair evenly. That's how the Lime Crime one left the ends of my hair. That's how the Lunar Tides left my hair. That's crazy. Imagine if I put that over my entire head and it all came away looking all frizzy and crazy like that. I can't believe that that one looks like... Isn't that insane? Look at the difference. That's... Oh. Number three is Dare number 10 in Sugar Storm. I actually really like that colour. I think that that all over the head could be really nice. It's a really nice peachy, corally kind of colour. Feeling good about the Dare one. My hair feels pretty good too, like it's not catching or anything, it's not knotting, so that looks good. Number four is the Bright Organics in Pastel Pink. That is an awesome colour, I love it! That's so cool! Oh, it's so pretty! That's probably, at the moment, my favourite colour so far. I actually really like it. This is definitely a soft pink, it's not a pastel pink though, but look how shiny my hair is! Look at that in the ref look at that that's so shiny look at me moving it it's catching the light versus when i do that with uh, this one for example if i if i move my hair like this I, I really think that this one is definitely shinier. The hair feels very, very soft. The ends look fine. I just, I can't get over this strand here. Look at that. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Mambo number five. Herman's Amazing Poly Pink. That's not right, is it? Is that really number five? Not that impressed by the color. Also, it does look a little bit more frizzy than some of the other hairs on my head. I think it looks a bit more frizzy, come to think of it. Number six is the one that we split in half. So we did half of the L'Oreal Colorista and the other half was the Schwarzkopf Purple. So we'll start off with the purple. The purple worked on me. Tiasha said it didn't work on her when she tried this purple color from this range. It washed out and there was no color left behind. It took perfectly on my hair and it's a really cool shade of purple and I'm very excited to use that again. So this is the L'Oreal. I actually don't mind the color. Color looks quite nice, come to think of it. It's actually exactly what I expected based on the color from the box. Now this is the one that people said can ruin your hair and can wash out to be like green. 
So definitely interested after the eight washes to see how this one holds up. But at the moment, my hair looks quite shiny. Looks like it's a nice color. Number seven is Arctic Fox Frosé. Now I am a little bit sad because I don't know if this is to do with how Tiasha applied it, but some of it is really, really pastel and some of it's super pink and it's definitely not consistent. It's not an even color at all, but when Tiasha did put it on the hair, it looked as though she put it on well. Like it looked as though she put it on evenly, it looked fine, but now for some strange reason, it doesn't look even. It doesn't look like it's really damaged my hair that much. However, if you look at the end of my hair there, that does look a little bit frizzy though. So um, I know that this one's got no peroxide or anything like that in it, but it has left the ends looking a little bit more frizzy than some of the others left it looking. It's really difficult to judge this one because it's not even. If this was an even application, I would be able to judge it better. But even based on the uneven application, I feel like this one would have been really pretty. This is the Tintation in Petal Pink. Now this one isn't even as well. This section up here is lighter. This section down here is a darker pink. I really like this darker pink section. Uh, the lighter pink, unfortunately, actually it just looks like a really nice ombre. It looks like a really nice gradient, but this was a really, really runny texture. So could have had a bit of issues, you know, applying it. But this color down here looks really nice. Actually, I don't mind that at all. That's a really pretty pink. That's basically what I expected based on the bottle. My hair feels totally fine, doesn't feel damaged, doesn't feel dry. Okay, so next up is the Tintation in Rose Gold. It's the least vibrant pink, I would say, out of all of them, and it's also pulling the most yellow tones from the blonde underneath. I'm probably the least impressed by this one, I would say, just because there's a lot of yellow tones pulling through. This is a nice subtle pink. I think that this could be a fun one to just mix in with shampoo and just wash my hair with regularly to maintain the color. All right, now this one is Herman's Poly Pink. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think this color is amazing. It's so pretty. The hair looks a little bit more frizzy than some of the others left it. Definitely looks a bit more frizzy, but at the same time, it still feels quite soft. Although, actually, running my fingers through it, my fingers are catching a little bit more. Oh, actually, way more. I do really like the color. I think the color's stunning. I would happily, this is like a real candy, candy floss pink. That's probably maybe my favorite color at the moment. Actually, I really, really like that. Next, we have Swartzkopf Live. This is lovely. My fingers are catching in the Swartzkopf strand more than they were catching on the others. And that's interesting because this is the one when Tiasha put it through my hair, some of my hair started to fall out. That was the only one that that happened with. That actually looks like the same dye there and there. That looks exactly the same. It's gonna be quite hard once I take these little bands out. I don't think I'll be able to tell the difference between those two, but I will be able to tell the difference with this one. So this one is the Revolution Pink. And boy, is it pink. Like, wow. Also, look how shiny it's left my hair. That's crazy. My hair doesn't even look like real hair. It looks like synthetic hair. It looks like a wig or something. I'm not mad about the color. I think if you're after this type of hair color, if you like this really vibrant pink, this is really very nice. Like my hair, it's mm, it looks a little bit frizzy if I try and smooth it. Yeah, it looks it does look quite frizzy actually, but funnily enough, when I run my fingers through it, it's not catching. Like it's not catching anywhere. It feels very, very silky. It looks very pearlescent too. Like it looks, that's probably one of the shiniest strands I would say. Now we've got Manic Panic in Cream Tone. It's definitely showing the yellow tones underneath. It's not very even. Not sure if that was again with Tiasha's application. I know she had a hard time applying some of the colors because they just wouldn't set into the hair. I think that this is one of the ones that she just couldn't get it to take in some areas, which is really unusual. Color wise, there's definitely been better ones up until now. There's been heaps better, nicer pastel pink colors too. Damage wise, this has left the ends relatively frizzy and also it doesn't feel very nice. My hair isn't tangling or catching as I'm running my fingers through it but actually just feeling it, just touching it, my hair feels really, really dry. Doesn't feel as good as it felt with like, for example, that hot pink one felt very smooth. This feels a little bit dry. This was the crazy color in candy floss. Color wise, it's actually somewhat similar to the previous one. I mean, just looking at those together, they almost look like the same color. Based on the bottle, doesn't look like the bottle. The bottle was a real candy kind of pink. 
it's all right. Again, it's kind of similar to what I started with. I would almost think that this just hasn't taken actually, because like looking at this, come to think of it, thinking about what my hair was before I dyed it, it kind of just looks the same. So it's hard to know whether it has it taken or has it not taken. If it has taken, it maybe it's just identical to the color I had before and that's why you can't really notice it. I'm not sure, but both of those two colors there, you can hardly even distinguish between them. Now we're on to Dare Flamingo Feather. That is quite a dusty pink, not what I expected based on the bottle. Looks a little bit more shiny though. Looks quite nice and shiny compared to some of the others that were super frizzy. That's not frizzy at all. That looks quite nice. Feels fine, doesn't feel dry running my fingers through it. It's actually quite pleasant to run my fingers through. So that one gets a thumbs up. And then the very last one is this La Fiche Directions in pastel pink. Now this is the one that we thought went on looking, well, this kind of looks like an orange going on, but this is a really nice color. I actually quite like that. It does have that little bit of a pinky peachy color to it. A little bit uneven with the application, or maybe it's just taken in some spots better than it's taken in others. But color wise, I do actually really, really like that. I think that's a really pretty color. But it doesn't feel too dry. The ends look fine. It's not frizzing out. It's not doing anything like that. And then I guess I'm going to let it all out and see what it looks like.
Okay guys, so thus concludes the hair washing. So I washed it eight times, as you saw, and uh, originally I was going to stop at the eight washes to review the hair, but it was pretty obvious that after about three to four washes, basically every single color was gone. There were just two colors that held on from that point, and when I got to the eighth wash, those two colors were still there and they were still quite strong. Well, not strong, but you know, they were pretty obvious compared to the rest of the hair, which was all just completely blonde. There were two distinct pink strands. So I thought, mm, I'll wash it a couple more times. So right now it's at 10 washes. You know, obviously looking at me from the front, you would think there's no color left. Upon further investigation, you will see that on this side of my head, there is still one strand of pink here. And uh, over on this side here, there's that one pink strand there. So I'm gonna try my best to re-segment it the way that Tiasha segmented it. It wasn't the easiest path to follow. <laughs> so I used like reference images from each side of my head and I think I've divided it up, you know, as well as I could. The main thing is that the pink strand, I thought that this was the really hot bright pink because I figured the brighter the color, the longer it takes to wash out. No, I have the map. The only pink color that's still left on the right side of my head is bright, bright organics pastel pink. I remember raving about this color and saying I loved it and saying it was a really nice shade of pink and I said that it made my hair really shiny. If I just sort of tilt my hair like that, you can see it reflecting the light and it looks really shiny. The ends of it don't look like they're sticking out too much. They're not really dry at all. It feels fine. It's definitely, I would say, the most consistent because when you think about it, I thought that the really hot pink one, which is back here somewhere, I thought that that would have gone hot pink and then to pastel pink and then washed out. But it seems as though it was just hot pink, hot pink, washed out. I'm not sure. But anyways, I was worried that the ends would go frizzy. But look, the ends, it just looks like my normal hair. So see that? The ends of the hair, if I try and smooth it and then I hold it, it just, it looks frizzy. This one, when I try to hold it up straight, it curves. It literally curves over because the hair is really soft. The hair here is just dry and frizzy and it just sticks up straight. So number six was L'Oreal Colorista and the purple. You know what? I knew that this was the L'Oreal one just by picking up the strand. As I run my hand through this, I can... It, it's so weird. It's so damaged. It is so damaged. Look how frazzled it is. Look at that. Look at the difference. Bright organics. And that's the L'Oreal. Look how it's frazzled my hair. When I run my fingers through it, 
I actually feel hard bits almost, which is actually just the dry hair. But because this was half purple and half L'Oreal, I can literally feel the bits that feel more smooth and I can feel the bits that feel really rough and coarse. There's some pink still clinging to life in here. If I kind of rotate it, you can see it. But the longevity of this pink color is not worth the way that this has damaged my hair. My hair is so frizzy. I obviously have no one to blame but myself because you guys did warn me the amount of messages I got from people saying L'Oreal colorist is bad for your hair. Some people were saying it turned their hair green. So it hasn't turned my hair green, but obviously that would probably then come down to what your base color is of your own hair too, how it would all react. Definitely that's got the worst rating so far because when I feel my hair like this, I can, I can feel if I were to pick out the most coarse texture, I'd pick this and that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's, so it's like very obviously the worst texture. All right, now this one is Herman's Poly Pink. And I'm not surprised to see that there is still some pink left here. This looks really, really shiny. Feels very smooth, very, very soft. Ends look okay. They look a little bit sort of frizzled, but not, not too bad. It's a very, very soft, subtle color that's still in there, still hanging in there. I would use that one again for sure. This was the Schwarzkopf Pink. Feels very, very dry on the ends, like extremely dry. You can see it's pretty frazzled. Feels really dry just on the ends though. Up the top, it doesn't feel too dry. This was that super hot pink one. The ends definitely aren't as bad as Schwarzkopf. Crazy color candy floss. This is catching. Feels really dry from about here down. Feels really, really, really dry. This video obviously didn't go the way that I had intended. I really had hoped that I'd be able to give you some very, very definitive answers. I could possibly have mixed up some hair, you know, like when I put this bunch together, for example, and this bunch, there could be some hair in here that should be in here and vice versa. So don't base your opinions 100% off what you just saw. Uh, originally, when I set out to make this video, I had hoped that this would be really super informative for you guys and you'd have a definite answer by the end of it of what was the best brand to use, what was gonna damage your hair, what won't damage your hair, what lasts the longest. The only thing that I can say for certain, I know for sure that this is the Bright Organics and it's still there. It's the only one that's held its like nice pastel pink color. The only thing really left for me to do now is uh, dye my hair another color. Surprise! It's Alex from September. The video you just watched was filmed back in March and obviously since then I've done a few other things to my hair. Some of them I haven't told you about yet because they're kind of really, really, really embarrassing. But uh, one that you do know about is the, the purple hair dye situation. So I dyed my hair in this video using um, Schwarzkopf Live pastels. And then I dyed my hair in this video using Dare because in the video you just watched about the pink hair dye, I liked the Dare pink hair dye. So I bought Dare to do purple. Now when the Schwarzkopf purple washed out, my hair washed out just to blonde. It, it just came straight out and it went blonde. Unfortunately, the Dare one, the Dare purple, has not washed out to blonde. I've literally washed my hair like 20 times right now, and it's gray. Like, it's gray at the... Mm, there's a little, maybe like a little teeny tiny bit of blonde here. This is gray. There's also blue. Like, there's... A, there's look, where is the blue? Look, it's gone blue in some spots. I don't really know what to do now, because my hair is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. So what I'm thinking of doing, just for a little bit of fun, for those of you that are still here watching, for anyone that's, um, you know, interested in watching me destroy my hair further, I'm gonna go and put some pink hair dye through my hair and hope that the pink picks up in some spots. So for example, where it's gone gray, with any luck, that'll go pink. And then the purple will stay purple. So I'll have a gradient from purple to pink. That sounds like fun, doesn't it, Artie? Fun. It would be nice if I could get a really, really dark purple here, fading into a lighter purple, and then into pink. I would love that. So I'm gonna to attempt to use conditioner and this really bright pink revolution color to try and make like a, not a pastel pink, but something somewhere in between. So you guys might remember that the revolution one was the super vibrant hot pink. And mixing it with conditioner, it still looks really hot pink, but I feel like it's not gonna actually be that color once I you know, put it on my hair and wash it out. So let's give it a try. Ah yes, the forbidden strawberry frosting. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright guys, well, I have no idea what's going to happen now. I don't know if the pink is going to take on the parts of my hair that went grey. I don't know if the pink is going to cover the purple, or if when I wash this out, the purple will still be there, and then it'll change into pink. I have no idea. But uh, anyway, obviously doing a purple to pink gradient is not what this video was about. Uh, this video was just about the 16 different pink hair dyes. So I'm going to leave this one here, and uh, I'll do another video about the gradient hair. But if you want to see the results of this washing out, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell and uh, please give us a thumbs up on this video if you like the hair dye videos. I'm having a lot of fun dyeing my hair. I know that I'm damaging it but you know hair grows back so I don't really care. So anyway I guess to summarize the pink hair dye video now that it's been many many months since I filmed it I can say that the Bright Organics was probably the best product out of all of them because it lasted the longest, it didn't damage my hair. I'd say L'Oreal Colorista was definitely the worst in terms of damage. It, it really, really left my hair so dry. I think the prettiest color was Herman's. And I think the easiest product to use was Lime Crime, I would say, because that one applied the easiest. Uh, even though it washed out really quickly, it was very easy to apply. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. It's just a little bit of silly fun. If you're interested to see how this turns out with the purple to pink, then subscribe and keep an eye out for a gradient hair dye video that I will post at some point. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!